Hey you guys, um, it's been like less than 12 hours and my face is pretty swollen and I kind of just woke up and just wanted to make a quick video. Yeah, so my suggestion is <laughs> if you're going to get your dimples pierced, um, wait until like you're a week out of school or a week off of work because your cheek is going to be swollen as hell and you're going to look like a chipmunk. I've done this before. Um, I have more space left, as you guys can tell, and I look like a little cat fish. Anyways, um, so right now what I'm doing to help it heal is putting it, boiling salt and water together, sea salt and water, and putting it in a shot glass after it cools down-ish, and holding it against my face, and moving the bar in and out. Um, the redness is the scab or the blood, dried up blood. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and I'm right now I'm drinking cold water to help the swelling go down and to help me stand it. Mm, I'm not sure. I think that's it right now. So, see you guys in 24 hours. And it's just 12 hours now. So, in another 12 hours. Hey you guys, it's been 24 hours and I just got out the shower. Um, yeah, so I just took a regular shower and the water and everything hit my cheek and it's pretty big right now. And as you guys could tell, I still have a lot more space and it's just day one so it's probably going to get swollen. The biggest is probably going to be in like three days and I'll update you guys. Hopefully I still have it for a week. Yeah, um, so far my parents did not find out, so, so far I'm pretty much lucky. Day one, down. Um, to keep the swelling down, I'm drinking cold water. Um, I'm also drinking cold soda, which you're not supposed to because you're going to be oozing really bad. Um, but so far I'm not oozing yet. And on the outside I'm cleaning it with ear solution and um sea salt sea salt water to pull it together um on the inside i ran out of mouthwash so so far i'm just using like toothpaste um that's it for day one so let's see how this goes hey you guys um i kind of just woke up for school sorry i didn't get to record yesterday as you guys could tell my face got bigger yesterday it was just a little bit bigger and it's um, I think today it's starting to ooze because yesterday it didn't ooze. And yesterday it was still like reddish. Um, the swelling to keep it down, I've been using, um, sea salt water. Sea salt mixed with water. I boiled them together. Um, I froze them and put them on my cheek. To help keep the swelling down usually it's bigger than this um yeah so that's uh, day three yesterday my parents found out mm -hmm. yeah um yeah so so far that's all i wanted to say to you guys because yeah today's day three hey you guys it's still day three and my cheeks aren't that bad it's the same as yesterday yeah, a little, like, dark purple reddish because of the blood inside and the bruise, pretty much. It's a bruise. Um, yeah, I'm still using sea salt ice. Um, brushing my teeth still. Cleaning the outside with ear cleaner and water, clean water, boiled water. Um, yep, I think that's all. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Yeah, I kind of heard it moving it today. Um, yeah, so seriously, ask questions down below. And I will answer them in the next video because I keep getting the same question. Alright, see you guys. Bye. Hey, you guys. It's day four. Um, yeah, my cheeks got a little bit bigger 
um, it's just cause I just iced it down, so it's kind of like reddish. Um, I'm just baiting on if I should switch them or not, and my head looks really big. Anyways, um, sleeping was okay, but the first two nights, I forgot to tell you guys this, the first two nights, it was kind of hard, cause, um, we got, like, kept going in and out. Um, yeah, so I'm debating on switching on the tongues right now, cause it's so stupid. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you guys later. You guys, um, the swelling went down, and I think today's day five, and I'm looking out the window to see if my bus is here. Yeah, the swelling went down a lot, if you guys couldn't tell. Yeah, it started oozing day three. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. I think it's going to ooze for like a week maybe. If not, hopefully shorter. Um, yeah, I want to change it to short bars so bad, but I got to stick with the long bars. And I did cut them down. Uh, yeah, I did cut them down because they were too long and they annoyed me. And one of the parts were like bent, so every time I pulled it in and out, it would like hurt my cheek and it would like swell it up even more. This is the swollen one. This is way more swollen than this one, if you guys can tell. Yeah, both of them are pretty swollen, but yeah, it's going down. Yeah, I'm still trying to ice it down to keep the swelling down. Still, and I'm cleaning it the same way I have before. Hey, you guys, day six, I think. Um, yeah, it's Saturday morning right now. If you guys couldn't tell, I kind of just woke up and uh, yeah, just cleaned the piercings. Um, my cheeks, as you guys could tell, are less swollen, but they're still, I think, I there's like a bruise right here. Yeah, um. The side's still kind of sore. The side a little bit, but the side is way more sore. Um, I really, really want to change it so bad. I'm like impatient with these. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I did cut them down shorter. Yeah. Yeah, so nothing new really. Um, they ooze on day three, if I didn't tell you guys that. Um, yeah, they started oozing on day three, which is nasty, um, uh, cause every time I ate or, like, drank soda, which is bad, you're not supposed to drink soda when you have cheek piercings in for, like, the first two weeks, but I couldn't help it, it was so good. Um, yeah. Ugh, they do really look... Even, I don't know, I can't tell. I don't have my glasses or my contacts in. And my glasses are crooked, so I don't want to wear them. Yeah, so. Tomorrow's the final day. Ooh. Hey, you guys. Um, yeah, sorry if I look like shit. Because, yeah. Um, I decided to change it early. Change my cheek piercings early. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to wait, like, two weeks. But I'm really impatient, and this might, like, be bad. They're still kind of a little bit swollen. Um, so I think it would be good by, uh, in two more days. Like, give it two more days and it'll go back to normal. Or tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, so, gay healing process is pretty much over. Um, this side is a little bit lower than this side because piercings do move, which sucks about it. Like, they slide down or they move. Yeah, but it's okay. I don't care. It's not that big. Unless I'm wearing, like, if I'm wearing these black, black ones, you could tell they're, like, kind of uneven. Can you tell? The side's lower by, like, a little bit. It looks like a lot. Oh my gosh. It's not that bad in person, but on camera and stuff, it's different. And I'm going cross-sided because I'm staring at the picture and me recording. Anyways, yeah, so make sure you guys comment all the questions down below. Why am I pointing at you? Comment all the questions down below. And, yeah, 
Okay, now I'm just restarting. Comment all the questions down below of the guy, the, the guys, the questions you guys want to know for about anything, like cheek piercing questions, any questions so I could answer it in a Q&A video and my hair looks like shit. Anyways, um, yeah, so I like upload pictures. No, I don't feel like it. Yeah. So, comment all the stuff and I'll try and upload all the videos next week. And this video is pretty long. Anyways, bye.